So to recognize each device, each phone, we have to generate the device registration token, which is also known as FCM token. So we can say future device registration token now how we can get the device token we can say vet using the instance of firebase messaging we can say messaging dot get token So basically this will create a unique token using which we can uh, recognize each device. Of course this token we will add to the database for that specific user. So that we can recognize that specific user phone or you can say that specific user that is this phone belongs to this specific user and if a notification received for this token then we have to display it to that specific user. In simple words, as I told you guys, that is using this, we can recognize each device or each phone. Dot doc current user ID dot update. And then in the user collection for that specific user, we will save it by the key name user device token. And the value of which is inside the variable device token. And we have to make sure to wait for it. That is, it must update this first, then we can proceed. Now where we will call our this method and also where we can basically access our push notification system then we will call this method or any, any other method which we need from here from the push notification system. So well that is simple what you need to do is you need to go to the home screen home screen dot dot and in here above the widget build inside the init state we are going to create an instance of our push notification system. So we can say notification system using the notification system we can call our method first which is generate device registration token and then we will call up our method which is when notification received and as you know we have to pass the context of our home screen to it. So we generate the token and then we listen that is as you know the three conditions that is either the when the notification received either the app is terminated or foreground in the foreground or in the background whatever the uh, scenario is uh, we have to listen that is if a notification received then just display that. Now till now we have implement the push notification system that is this is the receiving part okay and also one more thing which we have done is basically to recognize each device using the device registration token 